And welcome back to another episode of Enigmatic Six Expert, where I've, I tidied up some terrain at the front of the base because it was it was pretty rough under there. Um, yeah, it didn't look great. It looks better. I would like to do sand, but uh, I'm just chipping away at it. Uh, I've also been doing a couple of improvements to the base. Um, turns out elevators very easy to make, and way better than climbing up that annoying ladder. Uh, <laughs> way way better now i went on a bit of an adventure and got some sand and some gravel and some clay and i've been making grout now unfortunately you can't just smelt this in a furnace you i mean you could do it in a foundry which we don't have or a melter which we don't have or well, you have to use the induction smelter so tinkers luck's behind uh, getting that induction smelter just got this thing ticking away smelting up some seared bricks and I also finally made time in a bottle about 40 minutes ago. Uh, so this was pretty easy, just brewed up some potions of swiftness, um, chucked that plus a soul shard in a hole and dropped an anvil on top of it and got time in a bottle. Which is handy. Which is very handy. This is, this is going to be chewing through my power. Um, which I haven't had to worry about because we got that power cell energy cell uh, is a quest reward but yes with that timed in a bottle that's not keeping up now I don't know how many of these seared bricks I need but I want to finish uh, some of these quests so we got the foundry down here um, if we needed that we need a fluid encapsulator which we actually have we need, also need to already be melting scorched stone so I think we have to go the seared heater route. We need to craft ourselves one of these magma crucibles. And these don't look too bad. Bit of copper, bit of bronze. Some of those wire things. Need seared bricks, we can craft them now. Yeah. Uh shouldn't be too bad. And uh with with this thing. With this thing. Um yeah, we can see we're missing a lot of the stuff. And just whipping up a multi-servo press. And uh, might have seen that went a little bit faster. I just chucked some basic speed increase modules in all of these all of these sections of pipe. Which is actually handy, having the four inventories connected to one. Because it means you get the, the bonus you know, for four chests with one upgrade. Now, but the real reason I'm making this is for the copper wire. Because we can do it with copper plates, um, which I had a few processing, but then you're getting like one copper wire per plate. With the multi servo press, we get four. Uh, we do need this. I mean, it's probably not even that difficult to make. I guess I'd make one. That won't be too bad. And pretty simple. Pretty simple. So, multi servo press. Uh, we just need to find some power. I'm not using Xnet yet, so let's plank that there for now. Um, at some point, at some point we'll dig into that. Now we need to check down our engineer's workbench. Which I guess can can live, can live there for now. Um, we need to make that blueprint, which I've got. Uh, and then it's just steel plates and wire cutters. And yeah, I've moved the mechanical press to this, this part. Now just so I can just like chuck a bunch of ingots there and it'll sit there making plates. Um, since we're not like actually using this this sequenced assembly thing for anything uh, just yet. And we need wire cutters which I think are in my backpack. We're starting to get a few things in here. I probably should look at upgrading this iron backpack. Cool. Wire cutters. Steel plates. Let's start with just the wire one. You go there. Um, so we've made all of that, we needed the wires, which needs to be copper plates. Put these go in here, and hey, we're going to end up with the, the copper coils we need for the copper coil blocks. And then I think we've got everything else sitting in the uh, in the system. And then one magma crucible. So we've got this thing, paved the way towards tool tinkering and advanced metallurgy. Sweet. So, we need a smeltery controller. 
Oh, this is going for the actual entire smeltery. That's cool. Um, a seared heater, which looks like it's just used as like an intermediate thing. Right, and I think, I think we can probably do some cool stuff here. So, we want one of these things. We want one of these things. We might be able to skip the melter entirely. Um, so we need to melt some copper. Which we could do in this, and then I think we can bucket it out. So, copper. Let's just get some of that. Um, there should be more, more appearing here. I'll, I'll leave them those chests for now. I requested one. That's not enough. Now, if we were to melt this, because it's 144 millibuckets, we need four ingots. Uh, one ingot is okay. So we need to melt down four. Um, I. Kind of need more. Uh, we don't need you right now. We can go up here. We we need to sort some stuff. Got to keep this uh, sea pickle though. So magma crucible. Four of these. Actually, I think we are. We're actually running low on power. I think I just need to grind some uh, wither skeletons and that would get us enough coal to keep them uh, ticking away. So there's four of them. Can we bucket this out? Yes, we've got that. And then I think we should be able to uh, turn bucket mode off. Off. Gee, doesn't even need to be that high. If this was here... And we craft ourselves a faucet. We can't see the oh no, we can just see the copper kind of in there. I think this works. Seared basin, we check in the seared heater. Nice. Cool. Smeltery controller. Nice. Then we can get into some Tinker's tools, which will actually be kind of nice for the 3x3 mining. Or 5x5. But I am enjoying the Tetra tools, so I'm not too fast. Uh, and then I guess we just assemble a normal Tinker's smeltery, which, if we weren't familiar with it, we could come over here. Uh, okay. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Pins and you. Okay, so we need to come down and do all of these things. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just clear out these in the mean, well not, yeah, in between uh, clips. I'm not wearing my pants. I was trying to put mending on it, but nature's mend clashes and you, you can't. So I might have to unenchant these pants and, and, and do it again. Anyhow, anyhow. I know we need like a seared drain or, a, yes, seared drain. Seared fuel gauge, seared fuel gauge, seared fuel tank. And that's the normal recipe. I'll set up a little bit of a tinker smeltery and we'll probably look at to make an engineer's circuit table. This isn't too bad. We've got rubber now. I'll whip up one of them. Yeah, I'll do that just to finish off that quest. We're, it's talking about like circuitry, so we're probably going to need it. I'll just set it up. Set up a smeltery and then I think we can possibly dig into going this this route like the super heavy thing and end up with the compressed iron and that will actually finish off this chapter if we make a boat if we make a boat we should make a boat it's probably pretty cool i mean their boat's a little bit a little bit bigger but this is a uh, pretty cool pretty cool <laughs> so yes and a whale Actually, we should probably stay away from that ocean temple. I don't want to get mining fatigue. But yeah, we've got ourselves one of these boats. Mostly just for filling in the quests. I don't know what the advantage of this over a regular small boat is. I mean, it's definitely way, way cooler. And it's going to be kind of nice to just, just have it parked there. Could be cool to set up a dock and have a few different boats. But yeah, so that ship's done... Uh, in here we have our engineer's circuit table. 
which takes power, interestingly. Um, and I have absolutely no idea how this works, but uh, that looks that looks pretty cool. Would have to dig into that to figure out if I need to understand all of that. Like I vaguely understand like or or XOR, like exclusive or, but uh, anyhow, anyhow. Tinker's uh, smeltery. We've got uh, three seared tanks and plenty of lava, and yeah, not a bad spot to put it, I think. I think, because I still might set up the washing, the ore washing over here. Might still be a thing that happens. But that's cool. We've got the smeltery. I don't know if we need to use it right now. But let's find out. So I would like to, would like to finish off these quests. I don't know if we will. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So to get ourselves one of these superheated steel ingots. Steel we've got. Tar we might have. Obsidian we've got. Tar, we have one tar. Um, do we have more tar? And that was centrifuging. 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 Pitcherman. All right, so I found a bit of tar. Uh, bitumen isn't the easiest thing to come across. Um, so we might have to look into the old fractioning still. Uh, because we can get crude oil, we can get it from a laser lens. Or a PCB, although I... I don't know how we get one of these in the first place. A pressure chamber. An R&B lubricant bucket and a pneumatic helmet. Okay. Okay. We're actually... I, I don't want to take it in close to that because I'm not sure. We've got a six tar. So that's going to let us get three of these. So I guess we, we make three. Now this, this area is claimed. So this shouldn't actually do any damage. Uh, so that, that, and then that. Uh, obsidian, tar, and steel ingots. Steel ingots. Oh. oh, no. Oh. Um, that was all of my bitumen. All right, we don't. We definitely don't have any more. Dude. Dude. And it turns out this is not a bad biome. This pointed stone forest. It's not a bad biome for finding bitumen ore. Let's struggle with a little bit, but I've come across. And yeah, we got 23, so it'll tide us over for a bit. Oh. I mean, it's okay, it's not the easiest to get, but oh, look, there's some. And time in a bottle is a lifesaver. <laughs> and just storing this oil uh, in one of them for now. But hey, that's that's a decent amount of tar. So that would get us 25. And I guess we bulk craft it. Okay, so this time we got steel, got obsidian, we got tar. Now, making all of this in one go might still be a pretty bad idea because... Uh, because this stuff's hot, so putting it in an inventory, I'm assuming, is going to set us on fire. We then process that in a multi-servo press. So we need this mold, which, hey, let's get it. Let's get it ready. Let's get this ready. So if I wanted to get the, now it's the packaging 2x2. Two two. Boom. Uh, multi server press lives down here for now. <laughs> cool, and we just have to chuck this in there. Now, because this is chunk loaded, we could we could do it in the base, but uh, I mean, <laughs> you never know. You never know. Let's let's do it outside. Hopefully, this doesn't burn us like an incredible amount. So obsidian, steel, tar, and it was two of each. Yes. TNT. 
Come on. Alright. Okay. It burns, but it's actually... It's not like instant death and it doesn't set our base on fire, so that's okay. Um, it would be good if that was on the ground. And then we... Uh, oh, I'll put that in there. And this is still hot, so... We will grab some water. And I'm sure there's a nice way you could automate this entire process, but... I think we can get away with this for now. Okay, we can just do this. Oh, because we were holding it in our inventory. <laughs> the first explosion of many. Didn't quite uh, update that. Nice. 34 compressed iron ingots. That gets us that quest. Then all we needed was the foundry controller. I needed a superheated one. Uh, whoops. All right, we got some more tar. Okay, so I need a superheated one. And that has to go... We may as well finish this last one. A foundry controller. Scorched stone is melting. Oh, scorched bricks. Scorched brick. Is nether grout. Or soul sand, magma cream, and limestone gravel. Soul sand. Ah, okay. Okay, well, I mean... <sighs> as much nether grout. That needs to be processed in the yellow smelter, or we could melt it down. Um, so, foundry, foundry. I'm assuming we probably want to get into the foundry. I don't actually know what it's used for. High level Tinker's materials. Okay, I assume we need it. I assume we need it. Let's get another one of those things. And there goes some scorched stone. That is actually enough of that. Um, which has given us four blocks and two ingots left. That's not too bad. Cool. And yeah, I just saw we can use Scorched Stone for getting into the Tinker's Anvil, which is going to be nice. So, Fluid Encapsulator. Um, Alt-Shift-Click. We have to clear that out. Um, we do that. We need a little bit more. And then we grab one of these. And annoyingly, <laughs> like if you pick this up and put it in an inventory, it doesn't stop you burning. You have to drop it on the ground. There's a little bit of a pain. A little bit of a pain. But here we go. So this should be our foundry thing. Nice. There's a little bit left. Can we get that out? There we go. Nice! And that has completed the first Mechanical Mayhem lot of tech quests. Now obviously we haven't dug into XNet really. We've kind of just got a very basic uh, pretty pipes thing. I haven't even used this for anything yet, but we're set up. We're set up for digging into... Ah, a liquid compressor and liquid fuels sweet and blast bricks and yeah lots of other fun stuff and then ooh, refined storage all right that's the first chapter of the tech part of enigmatica 6 expert done can't wait to uh, dig into the next stuff but hey it's been classic stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one